So I was sitting here looking for something to uh, react to today, something I thought you guys would find interesting, something we can make a nice thumbnail out of, I'll have a good time. And then I was thinking about weddings. I was like, man, people spend a lot of money on weddings. They put a lot of time into them. It's over pretty quickly. It's, some, it's almost like you know, going to college and taking a loan out. You know, you spend a whole lot of money. No, I'm not going to finish that thought. Mary's watching. So this one's called uh, <laughs> Stomach Bug Causes Whole Wedding to Soil Themselves. Somebody gets a stomach bug, it ruins the whole thing. The whole the whole thing. But it, there, there's there's... There's a lot to unpack here, so let's, let's watch it. Now, I'm in my bridal suite, and I'm just by myself. I'm alone, and I'm just kind of having a moment of silence, a moment of calm before walking down the aisle. Yeah, you gotta have your moment. You know, gotta have a... <sighs> gotta have some okay. me time. Take it know? in, take it in. Yeah, you know, the, the makeup thing where you, like, draw around the lips. Is that what still, is... Does anybody do that still? I mean, she does, obviously, but... Oh. Anyway, anyway, when it's, her, it's her wedding. She can do what she wants. And then it just went to hell. Landon's oh, my sister gosh! and his four-year-old niece, oh. who's my flower girl, bust in the door, <laughs> completely <laughs> covered in diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Why would you take her to the bride? You know, instead of taking her to the bathroom, take her to the bridal suite. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Great idea! Covered in poo right before you get married. Let me, let me show you what she did. She has pooed all over herself. Look at this little girl. Oh, my God. It oh was everywhere. God. It was inside the car. It was all over her. I mean, it was literally everywhere. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Eh, yep. Everywhere. Gross. So we grab some baby wipes and we are frantically trying to wipe it down. What? You gotta smear it in a little bit. She's pooed all over her dress. It's got like the little. Get her out of that dress. Are they about to? <laughs> I think we'll send her down there, dude, with who smears. I don't know. She's going to be throwing flowers in a poo trail. <laughs> no. -uh. There is no time to get the stains completely out. The stains? That's just poo. Oh, God, dude. It, that, oh. That's just poo. That's not a stain. That's just straight poo. Okay. Wow. I am ready for the most important walk of my life. <laughs> You know, this girl- so Get out there and covered in poo, kids. Yeah, this, this girl, this girl, <laughs> this, this little me. girl is sick and pooing everywhere, but you know what? We have a wedding. Get out there and walk down the aisle. What kind of, mm. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> mm. the, the entitlement here is uh, off the charts, wow. And I prayed to the wedding gods that this would be the worst thing Oh my thing God, today. she's no. going down the, throwing her flowers down, smelling like poo. Dad's over here like, God dang, what is that? Did I poo my pants? <laughs> Change my depends. Kids are very resilient. You know, they always bounce back so quickly. I can't imagine. I can't imagine a little girl having an accent like that. The, the car is still covered in poo, I guess. Her dress is covered in poo. And that's like the least of your worries is this poor. Still sending her out. Yeah, this, this is just stupid. So about halfway through the reception, we start to notice how quiet and calm things are getting. It's starting to feel a little bit more like a wake than a wedding. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> Karma. Karma. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> no one was concerned for her, but now, so it's, I wonder if it's like the stomach virus going around or if it's like the, the meal they fed everyone like the night before, like they have that, whatever, whatever that is, like the, oh yeah, yeah. The people that are part of the wedding, they all have that meal and it's like, maybe they all got some bad food. I don't know. Uh oh. He's <laughs> sweating. Ooh. Our fairy tale wedding turned out not to be so turned fairy tale. Turned into a tale. horror story. Everyone's just sitting there holding it like, oh God, oh, I really should go to the bathroom. I'll just sit here and sweat it out. <laughs> what happened next was like the worst thing that could happen to a bride and groom at a wedding. The worst thing, here he comes. One of our guests gets up. He makes a beeline for the restroom. The worst thing ever. He left and went to the bathroom. My God, that was the worst <laughs> thing that could happen. Like we've watched Gypsy Brides. There's a lot worse things that could happen at your wedding. Yeah, you haven't been slammed through a table yet. You're good. Yeah, right. And then I look back at everyone else and I knew this is not gonna end well. It's gotta be food poisoning. Everyone's getting it at the same time. Like they all, it's like the, yeah. whatever they all had for lunch was bad. Yeah, the catering got them. There was like this mass exodus from the reception hall <laughs> to the bathrooms. Like 20, 30 it, yes, people getting it's... up at one time to run to the restroom. That's pretty fast, <laughs> pretty funny though. <laughs> It would make sense that the little girl was sick first, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get out there in that poo dress anyway. Oh, no. We're, we're all sick. Blah! And there's only, like, one toilet. You know, it's probably, if it's set in, like a, uh, like, a small church, it's like that one 
You got the one toilet for the men, one toilet for the women. That's it. Everyone's in there trying to blow it up. Oof. Oh, yeah. Ooh. People are going to be outside in the yard. Yeah, yeah for real. <laughs> we tore that restroom. Yeah. I mean, we. <laughs> I like mom there. She's like, whoa, we tore that sucker up. <laughs> <laughs> Bombs away, baby. Uh, th Jeez. I, th dude, I think it, I, I wish it was a case of like just they they made the little flower girl go out there anyway with the poo everywhere and just like everyone got sick from that like she just like wafted by everyone and it was like <laughs> yeah. airborne an Everybody's airborne like, virus yeah. <laughs> sorry father for we have sinned in your restroom it's okay Jeez. taking a poo is not a sin all right it's fine it's fine <laughs> But what we did to that toilet was, golly. People are refusing to give up their stalls, telling others to improvise ways to relieve themselves. So they're grabbing, you know, bags, trash cans. <laughs> of course, you got like the old people. They're like, oh, I'm not coming out. It's like, dude, I'm about to poo everywhere. Please. I know your stomach still hurts, but just move for a minute. <laughs> just Pe scoot over, bro. <laughs> yeah. People are using <laughs> the... Right. Have <laughs> She's like the ice bucket out here in the trash can. Sinks. <laughs> it was ugly. I personally went to get a, a mop to clean it up. But when I walked in the janitor's room, you couldn't use that bucket anymore. <laughs> oh! oh! Somebody was a genius! It was like, yo, bro, ain't nobody gonna know. Literally, people start running outside because there's no other place to go. In that moment, I felt like it was <laughs> my fault. <laughs> They're just like, I need somewhere for privacy, please. And at that point, we see some of our vegan friends actually start to get up and use the restroom. They actually didn't eat any of the food at all because most things, you know, have the meat and cheese. They didn't have any options? Huh. They didn't accommodate for your vegan friends that you knew were coming that probably told you their dietary needs? <laughs> you have anything for them? I saw there was some lettuce there. Come on, man. Uh, so, all right. <laughs> that was a cucumber. <laughs> they, they, they send the, the, poo, the poo flower girl out. They don't accommodate for their vegan friends. Trash can people that we got here. What, what is this? <laughs> Inconsiderate folk. I was talking to this about Mary last night. I'd seen something online, you know, you know, internet statistics. So who knows if they're true or not, but it was talking about like 80% of people, 80% of people aren't aware, like self-aware, not like I know I have a conscious self-aware, but like aware of their effect on people around them or even care. Like uh, empathy, I guess would be the word. Like say, you know, you got the people that are like on TikTok and they're like, they got their camera set up and they're like, you know, six feet away trying to dance. They're mad that people like walking in between it or, you know, the the person that's like standing too close to you in line that's all breathing down the back of your neck or being super loud and annoying. Like not even like either, not not even understanding how it's annoying they're being rude there, everyone. They're being? Yeah, our care. <laughs> how rude. Yeah, so yeah. I wonder if these people are those people that just like, you know, think that they're the most important people in the world. And uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and couldn't care less about their how other people around them feel. It's interesting because like it's like a taught thing, right? Because I remember like when I was young, my mom like sitting me down, like telling me because I was be, I, don't, I was being like a punk kid, and she was like explaining empathy to me. And so now whenever I'm making videos, I'm like really making fun of someone. I start going, oh man, it's probably gonna make them feel bad if they watch this video. <laughs> but then it's love, don't judge, and I say, well, too bad because that's what we're doing. So as everything is kind of going south, you know, we're trying to think about. What's going what on? is going what on? What is what causing this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying to figure it out, but it's still crazy. Oh gosh, she's got the sweats now. It's still crazy to me that they they come to the realization that it's not the food because they didn't have food for their vegan friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone eventually calls nine one one. They ask how many ambulances they need, and I tell them it's one hundred and thirty people. <laughs> we got a breakout here. So how many ambulances do you need? One hundred and thirty people. Boy, uh, that's gonna cost uh, God for like, for like the average like four thousand dollar an ambulance. You get like a hundred and we'll say one hundred and thirty. That's that's over five hundred thousand dollars worth of ambulances right there. Boo, shoot! Yeah. Yo, can, mm. can you guys send the ones with toilets inside, please? Like, <laughs> yeah. Exposure had to have occurred fifteen to twenty hours prior to the outbreak, and he thinks that everybody had contracted a highly contagious stomach virus. Oh, so it's the, they think it's just the stomach virus. Is just nose broke or is it just the shadows? Mm. Mm. It's probably from one of the vegan friends. They didn't have nothing to eat, so they punched him in the mouth. <laughs> it was probably poo dude's poo kid's dad, you know? Yeah, like, I missed yeah. him a there in poo, bro. Like, take that. My mind goes back to, you know, our flower girl, Alyssa, and she was the first one that was totally covered in puke and poop. Are they blaming the little girl? Are they blaming her for spreading it to I everyone? Hope. I think that's coming. That seems like what's happening. You think that's what's happening here? You no, know, they were, went around hugging and kissing everybody. 
Now we realize that the night of the rehearsal dinner, Alyssa was contaminating everyone then, her and the other flower girl. Wow. Oh, so the flower girls spread it around, huh? They were giving everybody hugs right. and everything. Yeah. Maybe it's true, but you know, um, <laughs> a buddy of mine, he's a, he, he's a, he was a general practitioner, right? He's a doctor. And I was asking him, like, how, how do doctors keep from getting sick so much? And he's like, oh, we get sick, but we just wash our hands. And that literally takes care of like 90% of it. <laughs> yeah. If someone's, I don't, dude, seriously, I've heard the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like if, if someone's like sick, we don't get in their face and get coughed on or anything like that, you know, put a mask on. And then if when they leave, we wash our hands. And I was like, wow. <laughs> so, you know, you can blame the little girls, but the other part of it is you nasty people who just wash their hands. Wash their hands. <laughs> You know, it could also not be the flower girl. It could also be just like, you know, Uncle Joe over there. Maybe he has it and he don't know it yet. Maybe one of his kids had it and he's out there shaking everyone's hand, you know, as they come in. Right. Blaming these little flower girls. How dare you? You know, I, I blame the people that, that aren't sick. That's who I blame. Gotta be them. Yeah, they, they've already had it and gotten over it. And they're just keeping it on the down low. And they went and had their <laughs> wedding anyway. And they and they were still spreading it around. Yeah, I think it was their fault. Okay. The only people that did not get sick in this whole thing. You know, suspicious. You, well, you guys, you guys didn't like uh, what happened? spend any time with the flower girls or anything? Or maybe they just wash their hands. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or they wash their hands. <laughs> yeah. She even accidentally sneezed in my mouth. The way she's like talking is like that she just doesn't like kids. Like right. she sneezed in my mouth. It's like, well, if, if a kid, if a kid's about to sneeze and you're just over here like mouth breathing over, I'm like, uh, right. Like it, opening your mouth while it's coming. Yeah, you kind of deserve it. I mean, it's not like kids just, they're just like, oh, hey, uh, you know, just suddenly surprise sneeze. Maybe some, <laughs> some kids are sneaky. I don't know. So we find out that a week before the wedding, our niece was diagnosed with norovirus. Norovirus is a really contagious virus that's easy. Oh, well, maybe it was her then. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oops. <laughs> Two days prior to the wedding, her pediatrician had signed her off like a clean bill of health saying that she was completely fine and did not have the norovirus anymore. Well, he was dead wrong. These people are so stupid. The, the, this, what they're saying works if we believe that literally no one else in this little girl's life that attended this wedding, like her parents, could have gotten it after she got it and were the ones that were spreading it. Right. She went to school. Right. She got it or whatever, you know, whatever she preschool, whatever she was, hang out with someone. She got it, got sick. Her parents got it also. They were, they got, they got sick for a day and then they were more than likely the ones that spread it through the entire wedding. Probably shook more hands than yeah. the flower girl. <laughs> Pro you know what I mean? Probably were around the adults a lot more than the kids were. I'm defending the kids on this one. I'm defending the kids. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing is if she was clear of it, but then she showed up with Why poo all over. Sick? Well, he was dead wrong. I, I suspect, highly suspect, the story is just made up. So, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. a week ago she had it, but then she didn't. But then she did, and, and then got she got everybody again. sick. You guys can correct me. That, I'm just. I think I just don't like this lady because she drew, drew her lips on. I think that's what, I think that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to defend the kid here. I just I feel like they're being attacked. I just need, any reason need to defend someone to protect kids. them. F defend the kid. They literally <laughs> sit her out there with poo on her dress. I don't like them. So who could have known that this beautiful little girl with her flowers could almost kill everybody? We literally nicknamed her Typhoid Mary for years. Jeez, really? Why would you do that to this kid? Oh my God. Okay. All right. Now I don't feel bad about defending the kid at all. Yeah. I'm sure that, that did, that did wonders for her self-confidence. I'm sure. Yeah. So thanks family. We still call her that sometimes. Wow. I mean, I feel bad. It was not a good day. Well, let's see if she's coping pretty well with it. She's like, I felt bad because everyone keeps making me feel bad about it, but I was a kid right. and it just kind of happened and maybe it wasn't even my fault. I don't know. I just had an accident <laughs> in the car, really. You know, I didn't, they, my parents didn't let me go to the bathroom because it was late for the wedding because we showed up minutes before she walked down the aisle and uh, I couldn't right. go and I pooed myself. A lot of circumstantial stuff. I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mary, you had to deal with all that. You're a terrible family. That's what you get for sending me out my poo dress. Karma. For real. What do the comments say? Who would leave a kid in a poo covered dress for a wedding? <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Maybe it was her, but I mean, at the same time, it's kind of everybody else's fault. It's not her fault. 
she still got. She was the kid. She's the kid, bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Even if she it was the one that spread to everyone, she still got made to come by her parents while she was sick. And then exactly the fact that like her, like we're not even sus- suspicious of the parents because we know they got sick too. You know, it's like, sure. What a, what a, what a, what a BS story. Poor, poor, little, poor, poor, wow. poor kid. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. It. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Says my friends. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Get me out. <laughs>